Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bailey. I am the host of the Cloth Diaper Podcast and today, every Sunday, we do absorbency testing results. So. In 2018, I did an order from Happy Flute and I ordered their hemp fitted cloth diaper, a bamboo fitted cloth diaper, and their velour bamboo fitted cloth diaper. They also make a few other... I have not tried these products on my daughter yet because... Well, I, it's crazy guys. If you want to see any of these products more in depth through video, vlogging, whatever, drop me a comment below. My daughter is pretty much potty trained and I am set for foot surgery soon so I don't really have a lot of real life experience left. I can do a video dialogue walkthrough of these products if you want them. So comment on that below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more cloth diaper content. And if you like this absorbency type of content, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me know what to do and what not to do. Before I get going, always my absorbency disclaimer is that absorbency testing is not fully complete accurate science. I do do a full absorption number, which means I am soaking the product completely. Full absorption is not realistic absorption because at full saturation, you would have a leaking diaper. Often we also notice with fitted diapers, you will have dryness on the sides and that's normal. So to expect these to perform at peak capacity, I would say is unrealistic. However, it's easy to do a full absorption number and it gives a frame of reference about how these products will perform. Everybody will have slightly different numbers and I get different numbers from time to time. I bought these diapers in November and when I bought these diapers in November, they were three US dollars cheaper than they are today. So these varied from nine to 960 US and I just looked them up on AliExpress and they now cost $12. In general, I would not buy these diapers again just because I don't really like their shape. This is very similar to the Sweet Pea and I don't like the Sweet Pea. I don't like the feeling of the velour and to me, hemp is not worth the hype. Let's talk about the numbers. You can also find all these numbers on the clothtyperpodcast.com because I'm gonna just spew through a ton of numbers which are totally overwhelming. I don't, I don't know which inserts go with which. They're all essentially the same except for this one. This one is one layer of velour, two layers of bamboo, and this one, and the rest of them are all two layers of bamboo and one layer of microfiber. Dave, just because I'm not sure, which is why this is a non-scientific. This is like, this is my flaw with this science project is that I forgot to properly identify which booster and which insert went with which diaper. However, that said, the snap-in inserts, one of them averaged 4.6 ounces and one of them averaged 4.6 ounces. So very similar. We had a discrepancy here when we had, and I could tell you that it's probably to do with this bamboo one versus this microfiber one, because this is only two layers of actually absorbent material, and this is three layers. So one of these held five ounces, and one of these held four ounces. So an ounce of discrepancy. I don't feel that there was enough discrepancy to really give you like a winner, winner chicken dinner. This ba If we pair this up the way I sh think it should be, this bamboo velour holds a total of 19.56 ounces. Not bad, I don't think that's bad. I was actually impressed. I was expecting this to hold much less for some reason. So 19.56 ounces at an average cost of $12 today, US dollars. That means that you're getting 61 cents per ounce out of these happy flutes. I am going back to my trusty measuring cup today just because it can hold 20 ounces and I don't want to have to do three squeeze bottles. I'm just going to pour over 20 ounces into the middle of the diaper and we're just going to watch how it performs. I have done full saturation numbers so what I typically do is I just fully saturate the diaper into a big bowl of water. Oops. Let's see. 
Even with a measuring cup, I'm not consistent. I'm actually pretty impressed with this diaper. Compared to the Sweet Pea, I'm not seeing the same spillage. It's feeling pretty quick to absorb. And I just wonder if it's the tray that I'm using today or what. Okay, well there it goes. <laughs> Expecting a fitted diaper to absorb its entire absorption is kind of ridiculous. But hey. Can you see? Are we talking about compression? Yeah, compression at 20 ounces. Guys, full saturation number is always going to have compression. Plus, um, these inserts do have microfiber in them. This Happy Flute diaper is the Cotton Bamboo. This one, I believe, is a total absorbency of 21 ounces. And again, that's about 60 cents. First impressions is that really absorbed quite well. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that there is a little bit of microfiber in these pads. And I really, I really don't like microfiber. And even if it performs well, sometimes I don't like it. We did get a lot of, there is a lot of spillage. This is about normal. This is what I would expect. And woo, it does, does squeeze out. Guys, if you're wondering, like this, I expect that, okay? I am not not judging the diaper on that. I, I thoroughly expect that kind of response. And then the hemp. So this is a hemp fitted cloth diaper. When I paid, I bought this for $9, it's now $12. It's two layers of hemp and then a three layer hemp insert on the inside. Just one. And that's about it. I did boil this diaper in my boil video. I would not advise that because it has elastics and snaps. Nothing went wrong with this, but I probably prematurely aged my elastics. We can assume that this is 55% hemp, 45% cotton. 100% hemp is not a product you really want to use on your child. Um, and yeah, so what about the absorbency on this? So the diaper held 10.8, 9.5, and 9.6 ounces, and the insert, this little thing here, held 5.15 5 and 5.2, so that's an average total absorption of 15 ounces, and that works out to be about 80 ounces per ounce. It's important here to note, um, because I often see this conversation that hemp products are more absorbent than bamboo. And that might apply when you compare a layer of hemp to a layer of bamboo. But when you're comparing sometimes a fully bamboo product to a full hemp product, this is 21 ounces, this is 15 ounces. Hemp is awesome in its own right, but it performs and acts differently and it's often sold very differently. This only has one insert. Maybe if this had two, it would be more absorbent than this. But we really need to stop making this claim that hemp products are more absorbent than bamboo products because I think it gives this false expectation that we should buy this instead of buying this when this might meet our needs more. Other diapers. I mean, I, I don't believe hemp is a slow absorber, not to the extent that people say, but as we do notice, a lot more pooling with this diaper that we did with the others, which might support the claim that hemp is a little bit of a slow absorber. Okay, so it has started to pick up a lot of the other textiles. We've noticed this with the fitted, that there's a lot of 
um, spackle over there. It does have compression, but just hands on the ground compression is does take a lot more effort to squeeze that bad boy out. It does. And that's the one trend that I noticed with hemp is at the end of the day, a hemp diaper might be slow to absorb and this might only hold 15 ounces, but it's really going to hold on to that 15 ounces. Like once you kind of squeeze it out and it has to suck it up a second time, I often find that like after multiple compression like this, right? Like look, I can't get the same can't get that same squeeze factor out. So, food for thought. Food for thought. I do want to note that these diapers have lived in my laundry room for like an entire month now, which means they have been in and out of the wash a ton. A ton. I have washed these with every load of laundry. They've gone through the dryer. They have been and washed a lot. Their absorbency numbers from their first wash to four weeks later are not different, is not different. I don't know what the grammar is on that. So these diapers, while they do need to be prepped in the sense that they should be washed, they have hit full capacity pretty quickly and they have gotten maybe moderately better, but I have washed these probably five times a week for four weeks, so at least 20 washes, and I have not seen enough of a consistent change to suggest that you need to heavily prep any of the Happy Flute products. Even the hemp diaper, the only thing that I really notice difference with hemp is that it begins to really retain its moisture better. So unprepped hemp, like the first wash, this held 15 ounces, but it would compress really easily. Now, four weeks later, it holds 15 ounces and it holds on to that 15 ounces. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, drop me a comment and I will try to show you how that works in a future video. If you wanna see more absorbency videos, don't forget to like this video and I welcome you to, let's have a conversation about how these products work for you and your family in the comments below. Like if you're looking for an overnight solution, you need to know what hasn't worked and then put it on. So if you've tried this and it didn't work for you, now we need to find a fitted cloth diaper that holds more than this or how we can boost this to make it work for you. Does that make sense as well? This is becoming a long video.